Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, State Farm, and WeatherTech. To most consumers, the name Jeep stands for stylish sport utility vehicles like the new Grand Cherokee. But say Jeep to off-road enthusiasts, and they still think of the mechanical mule that our fathers and grandfathers drove to war. That no-nonsense utilitarian spirit lives on with Jeep's Wrangler model. But as this Wrangler renegade shows in a much more modern form. It looks quite a bit different from the Willys Overland Jeeps first used in World War II. The Renegade package is the first significant styling change for the Wrangler since 1986 when it was introduced as a replacement for the tried and true CJ models. The modern Terminator inspired graphics and steroid induced fender flares give the Wrangler a real Schwarzenegger look. Aftermarket type 15 inch aluminum wheels are actually stock and surrounded by 225-75 all-terrain tires. There are changes under the surface as well. Optional in most other packages, Jeep's improved 4-liter inline 6 is standard on the Renegade. This motor turns out 180 horsepower and 220 pound-feet of torque. Gearing of the optional 3-speed automatic transmission is oriented towards off-roading, making maximum use of the engine's plentiful low-end torque. Zero to 60 times hovered around 12.6 seconds. That's okay, but it could be better. Big 11-inch front disc brakes and 9-inch rear drums produced average stopping distances of along 155 feet. There was only a slight amount of fade, but no lockup, and that's without ABS. Because of a short wheelbase and quick steering, the Jeep feels very nimble. But a high center of gravity and its off-road oriented design make it important to drive with care. Interior features have remained very much the same as when the Wrangler was introduced six years ago. Stepping up and into the Jeep, there is plenty of room to go along with the supportive front seats. Optional tilt steering allows for even more convenience. We like the comprehensive, if too spread out, analog gauges and wish that most of the regular cars that we test were as well equipped. Simple vent controls are low on the dash, but easy enough to reach. The optional AM-FM cassette requires more of a stretch. Because the top is removable, stereo speakers are mounted on the roll bar. They sound good, but are easily drowned out by wind noise at 60 miles per hour. There's a traditional glove box for your owner's manual and extra papers, while the awkwardly placed center console features a deep lockable storage hole for tapes and such. The front passenger seat lifts up and out of the way for better access to the two-person only rear bench seat. The bench seat also folds forward for complete access to the cargo area. Cargo space is extremely limited with the rear seat in place. On pavement, the rugged solid axle leaf spring suspension system gives a stiff ride. However, it's on the rough surfaces where the Jeep is the smoothest. This is where the torque, tough suspension, and part-time four-wheel drive pay off. This vehicle is definitely in its element, not in the urban jungles, but in the wild. With the highest ground clearance in its class, the Wrangler has the potential to leave others struggling with what it can go over. Its looks might be different, and now the Jeep is owned by Chrysler, so might the manufacturer. But after more than 50 years, the all-purpose Jeep is still ready to roll over anything in its path.